Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and warning, this is indeed going to get freaky. Now, I'm sure all of you by now already know what deep fakes are. In fact, most of you probably know them from those silly YouTube videos where we see Stallone pop up in Terminator. Uh, as silly and crazy as this is to see, it's clear this isn't real. You can immediately sort of tell that it's Stallone being digitally all you know f mapped over Schwarzenegger. Uh, it's a really cool effect, uh, but you can tell when it's sort of silly. But what happens when you can't tell? That's what's happening right right now online on TikTok. Uh, there is this deep fake Tom Cruise that is mystifying everybody because several users on TikTok, most a lot of younger viewers as well, are just completely confused seeing these new deep fakes that are getting more and more realistic. Uh, and this Tom Cruise deep fake channel is doing these amazing things by not only just having a good impression. Every now and then I like to treat myself. <laughs> and uh, it's good because discipline He's eating a lollipop. Oh. It's crazy because it looks, it looks, it's getting really, really real. And he's now eating a lollipop. Most of you know when you do one of those I think there's filters, bubble gum inside there. When most of you know when you do one of those videos, uh, Instagram filters, Snapchat filters, whatever, you, you can't eat a lollipop while you're doing it. The thing sort of shuts off. So the fact that it's getting to this kind of technology where he can then look at the, f the focus. The focus moves from the, the coin to him. It's clear there's somebody... Uh, <laughs> Doing some serious effects I mean, work. Uh, it's all the real. <laughs> it's so <Hey>. creepy. <laughs> I mean, I, I can still tell. Uh, that's why I can still. There's a few of these. But still, you can What's up, TikTok? What's up, TikTok? I mean, the, putting the glasses. It's anyway. It's clearly confusing people. Twelve million views on this one. You know, it's, they've gotten about three or four millions each on this TikTok uh, thing, and it's got it freaked enough people out that Tom Cruise himself had to make a verified account so people knew it wasn't really him. He hasn't posted anything yet. I'm curious to see what he will post or if he will smartly use this to his advantage. Uh, but the reality is, people are getting freaked out by this. Now, what's going on? It's not just Tom Cruise. Uh, look at these. This is creepy. Your loved ones, eerie Tom Cruise videos, Rihanna. Uh, there's a new tool that apparently allows photos to move around and blink and look like they're moving. Look at this, bringing back Martin Luther King Jr. using this new tool. Uh, it's just wacky. I mean, the neck's a little obviously all off, but still, they can now just take the photograph and sort of create enough to just move it around slightly, blink, and it, this is wild. And then at the bottom of the site, there's another one uh, where there's uh, Ruth uh, Bader Ginsburg, again, just from one photo. Just from a photo using this this deep nostalgia tool, you can turn your old photos to at least have them like move around slightly, just enough to make it feel like they're there. So again, what freaks me out is I can still sort of tell and, and I can start start seeing the difference, but guys, it's getting pretty gross. <laughs> it's getting pretty creepy. It's getting to a point where what if someone starts doing this for real? And imagine what they have Look, the technology we have access to is pretty damn good, but you got to think <laughs> the government, Elon Musk, other countries, they must have even better computer processing, all that stuff than even us. So uh, I, I conspiracy away because at some point there's going to be a point where this becomes so real that we're even like, is that the person? Did it happen? Uh, footage. We're, we're, we're walking into an episode of Black Mirror every day. The technology is getting greater and greater. So, so how did he do this? How did this deep fake happen? I, I do want to talk about because I actually know this guy. Well, I know him through a friend. Uh, his, his, his actor, Miles Fisher. Uh, and you can see here the thick pictures here uh, of sort of him, his real face with the Tom Cruise face. Uh, and you can tell he's, he's, an, he's a He's, he did this Tom Cruise impression in superhero movie. He's done these impressions a lot. And in fact, I actually knew him because he did an amazing short uh, by director Dave Green, who I know. Uh, he, Dave Green did uh, Earth to Echo and the Terminator, uh, sorry, the Ninja Turtles sequel, live action sequel. Wasn't his fault. Uh, he's a really great director. And he did this amazing short film about American Psycho. I implore you to go look it out. Uh, this is the place. It's a music video. Uh, you can look up Miles Fisher as Patrick Bateman. It's on Miles Fisher's YouTube channel. Uh, but Dave Green directed this with Miles, and it's a fantastic cover song of the Talking Heads, This Must Be the Place, and an amazing parody of American Psycho. But you can just sort of tell Miles Fisher's a good, you know, uh, impressionist. He's doing sort of a mix of a Tom Cruise, Christian Bale. Uh, that's sort of what he does. Uh, and so he's played these roles a lot. And so the reality is, while this is, you know, 
crazy how it, how it all looks. The truth is, it's not it, it, not anybody can just go and do this. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I, where did the article? There was an article. Here it is. Um, uh, the creator of these deep fakes is, a, is a, a digital effects artist who's working with uh, Miles Fisher here. Acknowledges, look, you shouldn't be worried. These are these, you know, you can't just do this in one click. Now, this uh, Chris Oom is his name. He's a v Belgium VFX supervisor, and he was doing this to get attention for his business and for his work. But the fact is that you have these effects artists in Belgium, all over the world. I mean, I don't know if you guys saw that bowling uh, shot in the bowling alley with the drone shot. Oh, my God, it's insane. Uh, but the, the point being, you have these amazing VFX people out there who are just doing this in their houses and making this look fantastic. Now, he's right. This isn't something you can do with one click yet. But think about five years from now, the technology and how much more advanced it's going to keep getting and keep getting with artificial intelligence, et cetera. The amount of data that they can process is insane. And that's how they do this. The deep fake technology just sucks in and scans all the Tom Cruise movies like you just saw there to gather as much of Tom Cruise as possible in various angles throughout multiple movies. And it, it, it's able to think so quickly through, the, through artificial intelligence to sort of live then pull all that data and then project it over however they need to do. You can literally do live action deep fakes now. Uh, in fact, they, they uh, I thought I had it here. Yeah, here it is. Here's, uh, look at this Obama. Uh, for instance, they could have me say things like, uh, I don't know, uh, Killmonger was right. <laughs> now you can, I can still tell, uh, but this is Jordan Peele doing this for BuzzFeed. Uh -huh. And uh, he did this live. Moving forward, we need to And the, the point being, we're getting to a point now where it's going to get even more and more hard to tell. Right now, I think most of us can still tell. But soon, not so much. And so even though this guy's out there saying, you know, it's not that, you know, look, I, I spent hours. You can't just do this by pressing a button, Oom um says. It's important. That's the message I want to tell people. Each clip took weeks of work using open source deep face lab algorithm as well as established video editing tools. By combining traditional CGI and VFX with deep fakes, it makes it better. I, sh I make sure you don't see any of the glitches. Uh, and he's the guy who did the Sassy Justice video. I don't know if you guys watched that on my stream, but it's a very funny series he did for uh, Matt and Trey Parker. Trey Parker, Matt Stone. Uh, but uh, he he found Fisher, who is a really good impressionist, and he said, it's another reason why this works so well. Miles, combined with my exp experience, that's what really made this work. Uh, and then he, he sort of says he's, he's stopped now. It's fulfilled its purpose. I said, we had fun. I created awareness. I showed my skills. We made people smile, and that's it. The project's done. Uh, he says he's done. Now, I don't know if that means the real Tom Cruise sort of told them to, to stop doing it, but technically he's allowed. Uh, this is parody. There's nothing that he's done that's against the law. Uh, and so his amount of credit goes to Fisher, TV film actor. He's a really talented actor. I just do the visual stuff. Even though if you look closely, you can still see movements where the illusion fails as the clips blow or Fisher's eyes and mouth glitch for a second as he puts sunglasses on. Uh, it's a very subtle. See, it's a very... but little things like that you can notice. Uh, so anyway, apparently uh, he's put the videos back up. Uh, a lot of people have been believing it. Uh, and some people wondering, is this legal? It is. It's parody law. That's what's so crazy about this. Uh... It's like Photoshop 20 years ago. People didn't know what photo editing was, and now they know the you know these fakes. Uh, but guys, they're here to stay. Everyone believes, and and I think they're going to get worse and worse. We are at a point where you really could just bring people back from the dead. Uh, you can make whatever you want, and sure, some of these are going to be harder than others. But the possibilities here of creating things that might be dangerous later. I mean, there's just think about it. So much stuff. I mean, talking from evidence now is going to be put into question as well was that a deep fake at a certain point they're going to get good enough we're going to be like well how do we know that wasn't edited how do we know that person was really there uh this is nuts so i i look I, the, these tom cruise deep fakes i think are you know silly these don't worry me they might have worried tom cruise prompting him to make his own uh but this stuff is getting better and better and sure while you can't do it in real time he's proving you can still do it and you can make them better and better especially if you're using an impressionist etc uh but if you're not matching the voice and you're just trying to match that somebody did something on a video and then that goes viral we've learned the media the news people don't sometimes care what the facts are once it's out there uh, so I, I would be shocked if at some point in the next five, 10 years, we don't see some sort of major 
phase here where, where that becomes some example is going to come forward in a bigger way or someone's going to try to do a stunt in the real world of, see, we framed somebody, but it was just deep fake. Now everything's up for question. Fake news across the board. Uh, I really do think the warning is real. Be, be prepared for this. Artificial intelligence is legit. Uh, Elon Musk has talked about it and the dangers of it. James Cameron has talked about it and the dangers of it. We are at a point where artificial intelligence could become Ultron. I, I'm just going to say it. I mean, maybe not that much. But seriously, at some point, the dangers of this technology are going to get more and more out of hand, and nobody wants to police it. And I don't know if you should police it. So many deep, bigger conversations, and I think some of us aren't even really processing the the, the, the magnitude of what all this means. Uh, so what do you think? This Tom Cruise thing is, is starting to make at least people understand, be prepared for the the, the, the dumbest version of this. No offense to the people involved, but uh, just silly little moments think about the ways that this could become more dangerous. I'm, I'm not crazy. Am I? Tell me your thoughts down below. I'm curious if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, you like conversations and, and breakdowns, news stories like this, hit that subscribe, hit the bell as well to get notifications and smash that like button. And I want you to leave a comment down below. What do you think about this? Do you think I'm crazy? Am I overthinking this or am I not thinking it enough? How long until you think this starts to get really scary? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Also helps the algorithm of these videos. So thanks guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more coverage like this movie news lots of stuff here on popcorn planet